Now we're going to do discuss uh, a nice and easy way of driving formulas for the conversion of centigrade to Fahrenheit and vice versa of no? Fahrenheit to centigrade. We have here a diagram, no? And imagine that this is our thermometer. Now, and the centigrade degrees is based on setting the freezing point of water at zero degrees and the boiling point of water here at 100 degrees. No? And uh, from zero degrees to uh, the boiling point of 100 degrees, they are, or I mean, uh, it is uh, 100 degrees apart, no? zero to 100. No? Uh, and uh, we are going to use the relation 1 is equal to 1. If we have this C over 100, no? For every degree centigrade, we have 100 meters apart. And as you know, the Fahrenheit degrees, no? And here, no? Uh, uh, this is our thermometer. The Fahrenheit degrees is based on the uh, on the setting of a uh, freezing point of water at 30 deg 32 degrees and the boiling pot point of water at 212 degrees. No? So we have this relation here. No? Uh, if this is uh, to be 1 is equal to 1, since uh, if this is 100 over 100 is equal to 1, 212, no? the uh, boiling point of water for Fahrenheit degrees, we're going to subtract 32 no, degrees. And if 212 over 32 is, we have this 100, 180. No? So we have this relation here C over 100 is equal to F minus 32 over 180. And uh, using this uh, relation here, this equation here, we are going to multiply the whole equation no? by 100 and we're going to uh, simplify this uh, uh, fraction here. So we have here C is equal to 100 over 180 times the quantity F minus 32. So we simplify this no? or we change this to lowest term we have here. Uh, C is equal to 5 over 9 F minus 32. So we have this uh, formula for converting uh, Fahrenheit degrees to centigrade degrees. Now, if no, using this, uh, we're going to uh, transform no, this to uh, into converting uh, centigrade degrees to Fahrenheit degrees. No, we are going to multiply the whole equation here by 180 and simplify no. So this becomes 180 over 100 times C times C is equal to F minus 32. So we simplify 180 over uh, 100. The lowest term of that is 9 over 5 C is equal to F minus 32. So we transpose, no, or we add, no, 32 to both sides equation. We have here F is equal to 9 over 5c plus 32. Now we have two equations for the conversion of Fahrenheit to centigrade. And if we are given centigrade degrees, we are going to convert the centigrade degrees to the Fahrenheit degrees. So we are going to use these two equations here, c is equal to 5 over 9 f minus 32, and uh, Fahrenheit is equal to 9 over 5c plus 32. So we have prepared uh, some examples here, actually six examples, six exercises. Now, if we have, or we are given 16 degrees to Fahrenheit degrees, no? and we would like to convert this uh, centigrade degrees to Fahrenheit, we are going to use the, uh, uh, the formulas that we have uh, derived. No? Uh, F is equal to 9 over 5 times C plus 32. So we just uh, substitute 
uh, 16 to this uh, uh, for C, you know, for 7 degree degrees. So we have here 9 over 5 times 16 plus 32. And simplify that, we're going to get 60.8. That is degrees Fahrenheit. For number 2, we are given 20, degree, 20, 20 degrees to Fahrenheit degrees. So we have here, again, uh, Fahrenheit degrees is equal to 9 over 5C plus 32. Substitute again, uh, this uh, C to be 20, 9, 9 over 5 times 20 plus 32, we're going to get, so this one is 36 plus 32 is equal to 68. For number 3, we have 28 degrees to Fahrenheit degrees. So F is equal to 9 over 5 times 38 plus 32. And we're com going to combine this, we're going to get 82.4 degrees Fahrenheit. So, for the next three exercises, uh, we're going to convert Fahrenheit degrees to centigrade degrees. And we're given 10 degrees Fahrenheit to centigrade degrees. So, C is equal to 5 over 9, F minus 32. So, F is uh, 10 minus 32, negative 22. Time is 5 over 9, we're going to get uh, negative 1.358 degrees. Uh, centigrade. No? For number 2, 50 degrees Fahrenheit to centigrade degrees. C is equal to 5 over 9 as quantity 50 minus 32. So this one is uh, uh, 32. Uh, 50 minus 32 is equal to 18. Divided by 2 is 2 times 5 is 10 degrees centigrade. For the last uh, problem, we have here negative 22 Fahrenheit degrees to centigrade degrees. So C is equal to 5 over 9 times the quantity negative 22 minus 32, that is negative 54. And we multiply that by 5 over 9, we're going to get negative 30. You know? So negative 54 over 9 is negative 6 times 5 is equal to negative 30 degrees centigrade. So that's it, no? that's uh, how we're going to use uh, the two formulas, centigrade is equal to 5 over 9, F, we are, if we are given F, the Fahrenheit degrees minus 32. And the other one, F is equal to 9 over 5, C plus 32. So, uh, I hope uh, you have learned something today. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bible Predator. And, and if you have some uh, comments and suggestions, Please do so and send it uh, uh, by uh, English or Tagalog so that we can uh, improve our way of presentation. Thank you again and see you again later. Bye-bye.